Hey everyone, here I am again with this long-awaited, by myself at least, uh, review. Today I'm gonna talk about the White Knights 36 full pen watercolor set from St. Petersburg. This was my first, actually my second watercolor set I bought uh, after the Cotman 45 half pen set, which I already made a video about it. Just click on the card up there if you want to see it. So White Knights is a very well-known watercolor from Russia and this was my first professional grade watercolor. This set specifically comes with 36 full pens. Uh, I don't know if the brand sells uh, half pens or tubes. I'd never seen them uh, on their site but I'm not complaining because I really like full pens. They're my favorite type to work with. So the set comes um, in a very sturdy plastic case it has three huge wells on the lid and 12 smaller ones but still big uh, on the other side and it has space for a big brush but it didn't came with one it's a very good and standard case with so much pain you won't be able to finish like never but that means is big it's a huge set, perfect to use on your work table, at your studio, but not so good for traveling. Now let's talk about the good stuff, which is the paint. I live on the seaside where we have a very humid weather, uh, so my watercolors are always kinda wet. But the white nights are the most creamy of them all. It never dries. It's always looking like freshly squeezed from the tube which is kind of irritating because it can get everywhere but it also means that the paint is extremely easy to pick up just a little bit of water and some dabs on the pen and it comes out super pigmented so to make my sample sheet I use uh, some Monval 180 uh, grams of paper and a 0.8 millimeters micro pen. Then I trace three columns with 12 boxes each to put my 36 colors. I did one line before painting so I can paint above it and observe if the paint is transparent or opaque. And when I dab the pen with the brush I already see how easy it is to pick up the pigment. And you can already see how bright and pigmented this watercolor is. When I do the sample, I try to paint from the most concentrated color to the most diluted. That way I can see the value range of the color. I personally think it's super fun to paint with white nights. I love how beautiful and rich the colors look and how easy they are to build up.
after it dries, I draw a second line now above the paint so I can compare it with the other one I did before that was below the paint. And if it's similar, that means that the watercolor is very transparent. But if the second line is more black than the previous one, that means the paint is opaque. I still make a third line, but this time I use a masking tape for it. So to try not to damage too much of the paper, I take off some of the glue's power by sticking the tape on the fabric of my pants. It's, kind of, it's a very weird phrase, but yes, I do that and it works sometimes, but it works. Um, then I use my brush with a little bit of water and I lift the dry paint taking off the pigment with a tissue paper. This way I can see if the color is staining or not staining. If the paper gets almost white again, that means it's of a non-staining pigment. But if it looks like a lighter shade of the paint, it means it's a very staining color. So now with all that ready and dry, we can finally review the White Night set. I'm kind of biased about this one because it's one of my favorite watercolors to work with. The colors are incredibly beautiful, extremely pigmented and rich. Uh, some have beautiful granulation as you can see. And I didn't test it but the brand says that they are light fast which means that they won't fade with time which is a very important thing to notice when you buy watercolor you don't want your illustrations to fade with time but i think the best way to review is to compare it with another one in this case the Kadma set that i already reviewed before so let's compare it they don't have the same colors exactly, but overall, the Cotman one, which is the student grade watercolor from Wizard and Newton, is almost as bright as the White Knights. Although they take a lot of time with the brush to pick up the more concentrated shade of the color. So that it's very irritating about the Cotman set. I noticed that the White Knights have more granulation in their colors, which is a positive point in my opinion, but some of the Cotman colors have a better value range. One very important thing is that the Cotman set have a lot of colors with the hue on their names. Hue means that they have the tone of that specific color, but they don't have the real pigment, which makes the paint cheaper. So that's a very big point for the White Knight set. Maybe that is exactly what differentiate the artists from the student quality. And yes, differentiate, it's a very difficult word to say. Otherwise, I will let you take your own opinions and conclusions about the colors. They're all there so you can see it. I think they're all very beautiful to see. But I don't know, tell me what you think, which one you prefer. So as I paint this illustration, using only the colors that came with uh, the white eye set, I didn't mix any of them, uh, I'm gonna tell you about the price. This 36 full pen set costs about 73 US dollars on Amazon. It's an awesome price for that much color comparing with the 45 half pen uh, set from Cotman, which costs not too much less, like 54. Although it has less colors, that doesn't mean that it has less paint. As the Cotman set have 45 half pens, which means actually 22 full pens. And you get beautiful, bright, real pigments, which is very important. And comparing the price on this set with other professional quality paints, it's absurd. It's immensely cheaper. They would cost over $100, $200 for less amount of paint. So from the professional grade watercolors, White Nights is the cheapest.
perfect if you are still practicing with watercolor but uh, you know that you want to continue using this medium so that's it you guys i hope you enjoyed this video please tell me what you think about it on the comment section i took a long time to make this and edit this so yeah um that's it i'll see you guys on my next video ciao